In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate Young's modulus from a stress strain curve in Excel. So we've got some stress and we've got some strain, and we need to first start by plotting this data on a stress strain curve. So make sure you've got your strain on your x axis and your stress on your y axis. So we're going to highlight all of the data here, and then we're going to press insert. The mistake that most people make is they try drawing a line graph, which gives rubbish, or you do a scatter graph and then put a trend line in, but you can't get a trend line to fit it properly. The key is to use one of the special functions. So if you highlight the scatter, then you've got these two options here. This one will give you it with dots. So that's a scatter with smooth lines and markers. Or if you just want the line, you can use this one. I'm going to show the markers, which is going to make it easier to figure out what our elastic region is. So here we've got a plot. So let's make this a bit larger so it's a bit easier to see. So the key thing we need to do now is identify where the elastic region is and where the plastic region is. So the elastic region is where you have a perfect straight line. So you start at the bottom here and then you can follow it up and then we're getting a straight line to about here and then things start to go off the straight line. So that's where you're getting into the plastic deformation. So we're going to look at this point here, which is somewhere around 35-ish. So let's have a look at our data. So we're going to take these points down to where we've got that 35. So this is the limit of where it stops being a straight line after that. So all of the data that I've not highlighted isn't a straight line. The data I've highlighted will give a straight line. And we can verify that by plotting it. So we're going to select again the scatter graph, but we're going to just do the one with no lines. So we've just got these dots here. That will give you a nice line. So we we'll just make that a bit larger, select the data points, then right click and then add trend line. And you, of course, want a linear trend line. And we are getting a perfect linear trend line there. What you want to do is display the equation on the chart. It's giving you the number with the gradient um, in front of the X. And then you've got this little number which is showing you, to some extent, the error. You're using real-world data. In theory, the line should go through the origin. And in fact, there is a function to set the intercept at 0, 0. But this number is showing you that because your data is real data, that there is slight errors in it. But since it's small, that's quite reassuring. What you can also do is display your R squared value. We've got R squared equals 1. That's measuring how good the regression line is. If that number is far away from 1, then you've got a problem. So this number that we've got in front of the X, the 2098.4, that is your Young's modulus in megapascals. So if you wanted it in gigapascals, you just divide by 1,000. And that is your answer. So the key is identify your um, elastic region, then plot that elastic region on a graph, find the equation of it, and the gradient is your Young's modulus. And that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe below and watch my other videos on analyzing stress strain curves. And finally, thank you very much for watching.